Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Herbs Sims in the City. Where we last left off, we were working through some new goals of, um, you know, we, we started, like, the last chapter, and we, like, participated in, like, a par- uh, in a, uh, reality show on Paradise Island, but unfortunately, unfortunately, we were unable to win because we were so high, you know, we we're so popular with everyone that, uh, the goal was to, like, I guess, get everybody to, like, a very low, uh, fr like, like, relationship, but we couldn't do it in time, so we did not win the cash money, but, uh, the, the prize money, but, uh, we, we got plenty of money, and, uh, we'll only be getting richer, so it doesn't really matter too much. So now, our next goal, right now, uh, we can unlock a new quest apparently by coming up here. I believe that Klim fella apparently has a uh, what Clementine. What was, what was his name? Crawdad Klim or something. He's he's apparently got a quest for us. And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention. I've I think I've decided that I will not try to do these. Uh, I will not be doing these relationship. Uh, or these, like, r reputation goals or whatever, because from what I've read, they just kind of seem like a way to try to, you know, lengthen the, you know, to like try to lengthen the game or whatever, like the, what, what do you call it, like, spread out the length of the game, like, just, like, collect a bunch of stuff, and it, it doesn't really see, from what I could tell, it doesn't really seem to have much of an actual payoff, like, you just get, like, a, uh, you know, an extra reputation point or whatever, but doesn't really seem to, you know, it's, it's I don't think you like get any, like a, some cool extra hilarious cutscene that you would regret missing or whatever, so I'm probably not, not going to do that. Oh, it's always a bit difficult to navigate through these giant Venus fly traps. I gotta, gotta remember to come down there. I've actually got a, uh, a Venus flytrap. Last year, I planted a, a, quite a few Venus flytraps, and I've got like a like a. I'm not entirely sure like if the growing medium that I put them in was uh, too bad or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. It's still very cold outside, and I've and I've got like my pot outside, and the the, the Venus flytrap that I was growing from seed, like it's very very tiny. To, to the point where I'm not really sure if, it, if it's alive. They're they're very very interesting creatures. So where the heck? Trying to find old crawdad Clem. Would be. Oh, oh. And I can't confirm, uh, off- Oh! Artsy Trophy, okay. Off-camera, I, I have actually been eaten by one of these things. And, uh, just, like, it teleports you back to the, uh... The hospital. I don't think I've actually seen them... I imagine I should probably just go back to uh, his house and maybe just sleep or something. I'll try that, and, and if he doesn't just appear, I will uh, skip to finding where to go next. I notice our stats are very low. Hopefully they don't mind us. Oh, here we are. Liquid, there you are, you darn sneak. What have you done to my brother? What have you done with Boo? Hold on now, what's happened? Boo's disappeared, vanished, and I'm thinking it was either you did it, or some of the, or something. Uh, uh, I was thinking it was either you that did something, or that vampire got to him. I don't think I remember seeing anyone in the crypt scrape. Like, I'm not sure, like, if 
that's hinting at something, but uh, let's say, come to think of it, you're probably right about the vampire thing. Yeah, you see? Now you know I speak the truth. Darn it, kid. We got to find him, kid. We got to sh save him before it's too late. We can't save the world on a... Without any sleep. Also can't save the world being lonely. We're also on an empty stomach. Is there anything to eat over here? Let's talk a little bit. Let's try to talk a little bit to him just to try to get our loneliness down. All right. We're all very hungry. So he mentioned like the crypt. Fine Bayou Boo. Ooh. I'm trying to think of how I got here actually. Did I just take? I'm not sure if I actually passed through the crypt to get here. Cause I, I do I know we we do have that uh new shortcut. I mean we're so hungry. I, don't, I, I doubt we're gonna be able to. We're probably gonna have to. Eat something. Is it in here? Oh, here we are. Oh man, look at that. Boo! Oh lord, you scared me, Liquid. Jeez. And I'm the one who's a vampire. Did you just say you were a vampire? I sure did. That darn fool vampire we was telling you about, well, he nabbed me, chained me up, and bit me. Vampires are sort of cool. Well, heck, kid, if you want me to bite you, just say so. But I don't think it would do anything. What can I do to help? If you could just figure out how to cure me and help me get out of these chains, I'd be much obliged. Let's see what I can do. So I need a free Bayou Boo with a mechanical seven and find a cure for vampirism. I don't actually think I have Mechanical 7. I think that's one of the stats that I've... Yeah, I've only got three Mechanical. I'm gonna have to get that up. Which I think I can do it by... Reading, or like, like, like studying at the university. We're gonna have to eat something. I wonder if we could... Talk to uh, Clem to... I'm not sure how he would learn about van the cure to vampirism. I'm gonna be right back, folks, and uh, do some grinding to get my mechanical skill up. I can't remember if there, were, there there might be other ways to get it up as well, like uh, some sort of action that would get it up. But I I can't remember. This place is a maze. I'm gonna be right back, folks. The Quickly resuming to show that I got this weird phone call from Lily Gates about a phone survey, which it wasn't actually a sur like it was just it was just that like it wasn't actually there wasn't actually an actual survey. But we get fifty simoleons and we have to clean up old Liquid Junior's urine, or we just leave it to the to the robot made, but. Like I said, be right back to get that mechanical up. Alright, so I have grinded my stats up by basically just doing a whole bunch of, uh... Like, taking a lot of courses at the university, which, um, I basically took... I, I kept taking cooking, mechanical, and creativ creativity over, over and over again, so I got my mechanical up to like 7, and my cooking and creativity up also very high. Um, one well, thing about the uh, cooking thing, right? One of the, one of the, the little cooking course quiz thing, you know, that it's like you have to like uh, determine whether something is a food or not a food. And I noticed that at one point, blubber was one of the options, and it was like the game marked it as not a food, 
and for fla and then also another one of the options is flour, and the game marks it as a food. And I'm pretty sure I don't like. Do people not eat? Is blubber not something that people eat? Like, I, I I I felt like I, I was uh, robbed on that one. But um, before we actually go in the rescue, uh, boo, I've actually found a uh, mom. Mambo Loa, who uh, apparently is the person we need to speak to about curing vampirism. Miss Loa. Let's say I have this friend who's a vampire. Oh, honey, no need to be ashamed. If you caught a little vampirism, well, shoot, it happens to the best of us. No, it's not me, it's my friend. I understand you're embarrassed. That's okay. So listen. You'll tell, you tell your friend that it, all it takes to cure a new vampire is a heavy chocolate dessert. A chocolate dessert? Weird. Of course, this only works for people who've been a vampire for less than, less than a year. Any longer and you just have to kill them. Good luck. Wow. That's... Thanks for the advice, Mambo. Luckily, you know, it hasn't actually been that long. Like, a, it seems that... Boo's only been a vampire for like a, a year or like, like a, or like, like a, like a couple days. So let's see what our goals say now. Feed Boo chocolate. So I actually, actually have looked up what we need to do here. Um, apparently we need to... I think we're gonna... Like we can't just give him like a chocolate bar. I think we're gonna need to actually mix a little concoction. Okay, the whole curing vampirism thing actually reminds me of a yeah, giant, giant chocolate bunny mix. Tasty. You know, in uh, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, we have a giant chocolate bunny. Yeah, this here is a, we got this package which has got you know a magazine and a pumpkin in it, but I'm not really interested right now. You know, in, in a Oblivion, you can, like, become a vampire, and it's like you can... It's like, I think it's like you can either, like, take, like, a certain herb or potion or something to, uh... Like, like... It's like, once you could, it's like, cause, like, there's... Blah, blah, blah. It's like there's a disease, which is, like, porphyric hemophilia or something. And, uh, once you get the disease... It's like you'll become a vampire in like a day, but in that span, in that time frame, you can like take a potion and cure yourself of the disease. But if you allow yourself to become a vampire, you know, there are all these the uh, like you have to go through like this big quest to like free yourself of like of the curse or whatever. And I remember like apparently they were like, I'm not like originally. At launch, that quest was bugged or whatever, so you couldn't actually be, like free your, like cure yourself of vampirism. And so I remember always being very, par very paranoid every time I had to like fight a vampire in that game. Where are we going? This is so. This is just the way out. I want. This this whole graveyard area is honestly very tricky to navigate. Like seriously, I'm not sure. So I came out of there. Street trophy. Man, I've gotten so many trophies. So here we are. Blim, a boo. How can I help you? So how can I... What? How can I just, um... Do I, do I give him the chocolate here? Mmm, this is some f some of the finest milk chocolate I've ever... Ever... Oh! Oh god! Oh! I feel so odd! Pooh, what's happening? I think I might not be a vampire anymore. I mean, all I want to eat now is chocolate. That's a good sound, right? Now he's uh, 
The sprite still uh, vamp looks like, like a vampire, but huh? I'm not actually sure how we. I kind of assumed that we would just have an option to free him. Free Bayou Boo Mechanical Seven. That's, our, that's what. Oh, pick the clock. Let's uh, speed her up. Oh no, we're also very tired. <laughs> we just immediately just start, start playing violin, playing the fiddle. What's the good word? Run free, Boo. Ah, uh, thank you, Liquid. You're a swell kid and one of the nicest city folk I ever knew. I hope I can return the favor one day. Yeah, we're too tired to talk. I'm gonna sneeze, folks. <laughs> I apologize for that. What was that? So that's that quest complete. Okay, so apparently for the next, um, our next goal or mission or whatever, we're going to need to actually go back to Heidi Shadows. Uh, who's like the ninja in, in the carnival. Before we do that, actually, obviously we want to, we want to get some, get some sleep, but I also want to sell some of the stuff in my inventory, or just like, kind of clear my inventory up a little bit. Oh man, we're very tired. Petrified wood, you know, we could fashion this into something really cool. I'm just gonna sell it. But we don't really need any... Like, we don't really need all that cash. So these trophies... We have a street trophy and an artsy trophy. Like, I guess like we can give them to like the leader of uh, whoever of, of like the respective rep group, and, the, and it might like increase our rank or something. I, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just gonna come and put them up here. Oh, I can't actually. I can't drop it. Okay. So, so we're gonna have to like find out who the I'm not sure who the leader of like the street tees and artes is. But okay, we want to be at the carnival at by I think at two o'clock. Things breaking down. Let's just, I'm just, gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave this here for, for a bit. She's having a late, late night shower. Sleep a little, get a little bit more sleep in. Actually, actually no, let's just head, head out. I don't want to be late. Or oh, actually probably could have uh, just had that had that little bit of sleep. Oh, here we are. I guess maybe maybe, maybe since since uh, we need her for a quest, I guess maybe we could have just come at any time. Oh, it's um Harlan. K we saw him. We saw like the ghost of him or something on the TV at the very beginning of the game. I, I kind of assumed that he was like speaking to us from beyond the grave or something. Hello. Who's there? Speak! Who's there? Wait, I didn't say not-not yet. That bad sense of comic timing sounds familiar, but I can't see you. That ninja's smoke bomb has left me temporarily blind. It's me, Liquid. It, it's me, Liquid, your former janitor. Liquid? I don't believe it. This is another one of Daddy Big Buck's cruel tricks, isn't it? Stay away. Oh man, what?
Those strangers are trapped here. My friend Harlan King. I wonder, will our stats actually go down? I'm just gonna speed up. Like, it looks like our stats are actually locked here. Uh, that, that's that's clever. Okay, so like, like, like there's no way you could. Like, like, one of my on one of my birthdays, some friends of mine bought me an imitation throne to rule over an imitation empire. Interesting. You know what I always say: home is where the party is. No, I don't have time to play checkers, and I don't desire to either. Before Teresa started running the theater, the only movies we got around here were dr driver training films. Old Hattie brings me back to those days when rabble rousing wasn't a hobby, it was a way of life. I've been sleeping about two hours a night for months. Pretty soon, it's all going to catch up to me. I know a pretty good recipe for lemon pudding. Let's see, two lemons and one heaping cup of sugar. When people say money's the suit of all weasels, what do they? What do you suppose they mean? <laughs> what do you suppose they mean? So was it, was it two scoops of lemon and like a, like a some lemon and some sugar? I'm still rather fond of the idea that all of the planets are attached to a giant spheres of rotating glass. Get him up there. Those reality TV shows don't resemble the planet I grew up on. Maybe we're living on Mars now. <laughs> clever, clever fella. So we, it's like in this little, in this little uh, cage. We uh, got some sock pockets. Like it's like we, we just took our socks off. You know, we took our shoes and socks off and started doing sock pockets for them. You can't blame Sue for staying in university so long without graduating. It's a cozy place. Exactly. At least I'm not hooked up to some machine that helps me digest my food. What's up? It really is me, Mr. King. I'm here to help. Dear me, Liquid, I'm so sorry for what I've done. I allowed the big bucks to get a foothold in the city, and now, oh my. Have you been trapped here long? <laughs> Have you been trapped here all along? No, like I said, I was far away on my new yacht, on permanent vacation. But one day, Daddy B showed up. He wanted information about the city's layout, so he kidnapped me. I hope you have some kind of idea how to escape. Or, I'm here to rescue you. Well, whatever your plan is, you'd better hurry. It's only a matter of time before Daddy B does serious damage with that time machine of his. His time machine? Yeah, he told me all about it. He's going to go back in time to purchase every plot of land in Minneapolis before anyone ever lived here. Wow. That's pretty smart. <laughs> yes, it is. And that's why he's so obscenely powerful. Now, how about getting us out of here? Uh-oh. Oh, so I just, I just actually realized that we're in the uh, King Tower. Like, in that little apartment area that we discovered last time. Why are you always bugging me? Let me out of here, you cretin. Oh, I can't do that. Not until you ask politely. Until then, I'll keep you here in order to prevent you from foiling my big plans. Oh, yes, of course, your plans. I know all about them. You can't trick me. I'll not make the mistake of many other evil geniuses and tell you the details of my wicked scheme. Come on, just a hint. I'll say this. In a few days, Minneapolis, from the Sim Quarter to the Glass Town, from the Bayou to Urbania, would have that special Big Bucks feel. You'll never get away with whatever you're doing. Oh, whatever happened, but at what happy days they will be when I no longer have to worry about the likes of you, Grandma Hattie, and even those meddling, even my own meddling son. Goodbye for now. I feel like I pretty much gave Big Bucks and uh, Harlan, Harlan King, like pretty much the same voice. Oh, and there he goes off to the past. He did say something about like he was gonna go back to 
where it all began or something like that. What's up? He's gone. I failed. Yes, but who he? That didn't sound good, did it? Those explosions and everything. Deadly. Are you saying? That's right. I think Daddy Big Bucks is a goner. Well, we'll have no more trouble from him. I hope you're right. He's implying, I guess, that, that like, the time machine failed. That he works is lost in time. I know I am. Now let's get out of here. I want to see if that vending machine in the lobby of the King Tower still serves free food. <laughs> I really do appreciate the weird meta, the meta humor of this game. It's, it's really cool. So I guess that's that chapter complete. Huh. I think I want to call the video there, folks, and next time we'll uh, see about commencing the penultimate chapter. P penultimate mission, and maybe even, maybe next time, or the next time, maybe, might it may end up beating the game. But until next time, folks, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and liquid out.